What's up, everybody? It's your boy, DJ B A S E, DJ Bass, because music is the foundation to every hit, unless it's an a cappella. And if you're tuned in to this channel, then you're tuned in to the beat break. And in this episode of the beat break, it's a very special episode. We're going to be looking at beat programming. We're going to be showing you all how to program some simple drum tracks, man. And this video is going to be for beginners, but not just for beginners. And look, if you've been doing it for a minute and you know a few things, you still can learn a few things, man. And with that out the way, listen, we're going to get into this beat tutorial. And okay, when we start off, man, first of all, we don't know where we're going to start. We had no idea when we started this video. Okay, we just knew we was going to start a drum track video. So what we're going to do is start by listening to the metronome, okay? Mm. And see, that's a 130. We're just trying to listen to that and see if that's going to fit the mood that we're in. See, and I just listen to it and I hear something. And already I kind of hear something. And I'm going to start with the kick. Just to show y'all you can do that. Okay? But we're not going to use that kick. We're going to go to packs. And we're going to change that kick out with uh, one of their new kicks. These minimal kicks. Okay. And if you hit your down arrow on your keyboard, computer keyboard, the down key, it'll, cy it'll cycle through the sound. And if you hit your right arrow, it will. Uh, you can listen to the sound. Okay. You can demo the sound. Sometimes this be the hardest part for me, man, picking that right kick because they sound, all sound kind of good. But then they give you a different feel. I'm thinking about four and five right now, but we're just going to go down and see what they sound like. All right, we're going to go with five, man. Okay. And if you just click your the middle wheel on your mouse, it'll replace the sound, the instrument that you have selected. Like I select that instrument. If I hit the middle wheel, it just automatic. It just automatic replace whatever you had selected. All right, so now. And when we pick that, we want to normalize it, man. Okay, right off the bat. Okay. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the snare. See what that sound like. And if you hit Q on your keyboard, computer keyboard, it'll uh, be equivalent to middle C on your keyboard controller. Okay. So you can just hit that Q to, to uh, demo your sound. Once you have it in your channel rack. Okay. So we don't like that. It's all right, but not for this one. So we're going to go back in here and we're going to go to snares. So we're going to come out of there and go to legacy. We're going to go to drums. And we're going to go to vintage. And we're going to get these snares. Let's pick this one right here once again. To select what you got selected, what you want to replace it with, and then just middle wheel and replace it. Okay, so now we got that snare, and we're gonna normalize that. All right, 
Okay. Sound okay. All right. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to this clap. Okay. And we're gonna replace that too. We're gonna look at these claps they got. Okay. And that's 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 a little different right there. We want that right there. That's a little different than what we have selected. So we're going middle wheel on the mouse and replace that. Okay. Now the hi hat gonna be all right. All right. And from this point, we're just gonna see what we got. We're gonna turn that metronome again because we lost our thought. We're going to doom, doom, doom. Uh-uh. Okay. I would need that to be a four by loop. This trap tempo. Now let's go two by. Doom, 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 doom. All we got to do is go with that snare, right? And drop that on the three. Right? We'll go to piano roll, man. And if you hit, if you right click and hit control on your keyboard, it'll just bring everything in view. Click right, double right click on the ghost note, it'll go to that pattern. We're on the drum pattern now. We can go to the snare by double clicking on it. That'll save you some time, man. And listen, if you learn anything, if this video help you at all, man, hit that like button, share, comment, and definitely subscribe to your boy channel. The beat break. All right, we want that snare to be a little bit more pronounced, so we're going to go to this clap. And we're going to add that in there. All right, now, what I'm hearing, I'm hearing some white noise. I need something like a tss. Alright, right click, open a new channel. Alright, we're gonna normalize that. Boom, 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 boom. Right Alright, man, we kicking. Alright. Now, what is this? That's the intro bass, man. Okay. We're going to delete that. That's just the intro bass. Boom. All right. Now, we didn't use... Oh, we got to put the hi-hat in there. Okay. And see, if you want to keep it hardcore, man, you want to just keep that snare on the three, okay? Or the uh, three and the seven, however you want to look at it, okay? Because if you add another snare in there, you can just play around with it. Let's just see what it sound like. You have to listen, man, and see where it might sound good at. Let's try 
that right here. Okay, yeah. All right, right there. So what we're going to do, we're going to go in here. Piano roll, man. <clears throat> and we're going to control, left click, and drag. Select that, and then we're going to move on it until we see that arrow. Then we're going to left click and drag it out. All right, and then we're going to go to this. Excuse me. <coughs> we're gonna go to this wrench tool. Uh, we're gonna go to this wrench tool. All right, and we're gonna hit chop. All right, now we're gonna move this trim. This time, right here. over here right click left click it and then now we'll duplicate that note when we press another note all right and what we're gonna do we're gonna select this here and we're gonna just fade it You want to sound kind of weird. Right there. All right. Okay. And now what we're going to do now? We're going to add a little bit more white noise, man. We're going to add that crash we heard. I just want that in there. Let's see. Open a new channel. Let's change the pitch. Yeah, smoky. Let's put that right in the beginning. Alright, one more right here. Hold up. I'm right, gonna take that one. And we gonna bring the volume down on velocity. Pretty much, man. We're gonna go ahead and hit this hi hat pattern. Yeah. Let me 
we're just going to turn his metronome off and we're just going to see. Uh, we'll go right here and see what that sound like. Yeah. Okay, let's just see what they all what sound like, highlight them all. I mean, I don't know which one, man. Hey, y'all put in the comments which one you think it should be, man. Should it be faster? Or should it be, uh, like this? I like that, man. All right, now I'm going to show you how we can have the best of both worlds, right? Boom. We're going to go. Boom. All right. Then we're going to go down here, and we're going to control, shift, left click, drag, left click, drag, left click, drag, left click, drag. Okay. And now we're going to release that, and we're going to shift, left click, and drag. That sound like. Okay, we're going to lower that down just a little bit more. Shift, left click, and drag. Even lower. It's going to be like it ain't there, but it's there. Okay. Even lower. Let's come up some with this. Probably that. Oh, man. So we got to do that all over again. Left click, you know, control, shift, left click, drag. Left click, drag, left click, drag, left click, drag. All right, now we're going to bring this up. Left click and drag it up. Now, we're going to bring that down one more notch. Shift, left click, drag. Boom. That's what we're looking for. It's like it ain't there, but it's there. Because we got the best of both worlds. All right, like R. Kelly and Hover. All right, and now what we're going to do is it. Hold on now. And now what we going to do. Control. Left click. Alright, we're going to hover until we see that cross. We're going to shift. And drag, left click and drag. Boom. And do that again. Shift. I mean, control. Left click. Shift. See that cross. Left click. Drag. Now. Nah. All right, we'll put another one right here. Let me see what the sound like if we put it back in there now. What? Okay, I think we can roll with that. And man, listen, at that point, man, we pretty much got us uh, a nice drum track, man. A drum rhythm. You know what I'm saying? We done laid it down and we started from nowhere and here we go. And it's easy to put something to that. But we leave it now. Let's listen to it. We're going to add an 808. Okay. Let's see what happens if we add us an 808. And what we're going to do, we're going to come. We're going to turn that into an 808, man. That was the intro bass, right? And we're going to show y'all how we're going to jazz that up. And make it, you know, something you can hear. Now, if you hit Q on your computer keyboard, you know, you can demo the sound. Okay, so... We're going to normalize that. Boom. All right. And we're going to go in here. And we're going to hit this clip. And we're going to get some boost. All right. Uh, all right. Good. 
now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and go into this X mod. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now we're gonna give it a little bit more volume. Pitch, pitch down, pitch it down. All right, man. As you see, we got us a banging kick now. I mean, eight oh eight now. And like I said, man, if you like these videos, if you learn anything, man, like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe and check out some of my videos where you see sound design in the title, man, because we get into that. As you see, we just sound design the eight oh eight for you. We could get more in depth with this eight oh eight. With some uh, distortion and some compression and whatnot, but we're not going to even go there. Now, let's just see with this 808. First of all, we're going to just hit this kick drum pattern, copy, and paste it into the uh, 808 pattern. And we're going to make sure it's cut. You got to make sure you see cut. Cut itself, you know. We're gonna we're gonna put that in there too. See, we just gonna go. Let's see, go music. Let's go to. Hold on, man. Okay, that's it. I think let's put that in here. Oh, you know what? I might have to trick this up a little bit. Oh, let me see. I might have to trick this up a little bit. Forgive me, y'all, because uh, this is going to... Right, we're not going to add this in because I'm going to have to tr trim this. Oh, I forgot how to trim this shit down. Oh, excuse my language, y'all. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Come on back. Hold up, man. Let me get this. Forgive me, y'all. Trying to get this thing started right. Uh, let, uh, that thing is. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Forgive me, y'all. All right, we're just gonna leave. We're just gonna leave it right there. It's a way to do this, but I don't forget how to do it. Okay. Uh, okay, I ain't gonna use it, man. I messed it up. If y'all know how to uh, cut that and trim that properly, man, uh, I can do it. Let me see. This is what we're gonna do. I think that's it right there. Okay. Yeah. Hey, y'all gotta forgive me on this piece. That's how it is when you go live, man. You know? One little thing mess you up. Uh. 
Uh, let's just, let's just, <laughs> let's just try that, y'all. And at this point, man, we done got y'all all the way there. You have enough elements in this beat to take some stuff out and to bring you back in. We don't even have any music. And on that note, you've been listening to your boy. We're going to check this out. And if you want them, that, that 808 to hit a little harder with that kick drum, you can just go in the kick drum and hit reverse polarity. And just, just, and just watch the difference. All right, you hear that? Hey, for all y'all who stayed at the end and you're a beginner, you ain't know this trick, hey, congrats to you. You learned this tip. So you hear it before? That's just a little tip. Y'all stayed around. Okay, man. And on that note, man, you've been rocking with your boy D J B A S E. And if you like this video, if you learned anything, or if it just entertained you. Like, share, comment, and most definitely subscribe to your boy channel, The Beat Break. And I'll see you next time.